It's Pink Fresh Friday, everyone. I don't know about you, but I don't have a lot of Pink Fresh. I am working on it. But I love it. And I've gotten a couple of kits in the scrap room. And that's where this came from, is from the scrap room. And so I have just a few embellishments, but I have been picking up some florals because I don't know if you guys have checked out this ephemera from Pink Fresh. Well, for one, their papers are phenomenal. They're very good quality. They're beautiful. They're breathtaking. I currently purchased a collection and I'm hoarding it. Of course, I'm hoarding it because it's gorgeous. But I did go ahead and pick up some of this ephemera. And Joanne had mentioned, if you buy one, you might as well as get two because they're absolutely beautiful. And she's right. She, that girl, she's right. So anyways, I pulled in this ephemera. And then this is what I had left. I had done a layout with my cat earlier. And I'll link that below. This is the sketch I'm going to use. This is an eight and a half by 11, but I'm going to stretch it and make it a 12 by 12. I think it's super cute. I'm bringing in a couple of scraps of cardstock. I brought in this cardstock and I went ahead and embossed it with that Swiss dot. I just love that. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but it is gorgeous. And I don't know what it is about a Swiss dot, but it's just pretty and it's classic. So I brought that in. I just brought in this little scrap and this little strip that I had left over. Here are some pieces that was from the scrap room. And this is the paper that I'm gonna be using. Oh, look at that's gorgeous and so is that. Decisions, decisions. And then I have this piece here and this piece here. And this is Joyful Day 2018. And this is 2019 and just a little lovely. Ha, that's super adorable. And that's another piece of the original one here. I did bring in some washi and now I'm going to do this layout of my Nana. And uh, it's kind of washed out, but this is what she had sent me. So I'm gonna go ahead and scrapbook it for our birthdays. She's about a week ahead of me as far as the birth date. And we try to get together and celebrate it. So I want to document it. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're back and I went ahead and I did put a frame around this because I just thought it made it pop a little bit more. And I'm addicted to framing. I am. I, I can't help it. <laughs> so I cut a strip here. I'm following my sketch pretty darn close. I used this wonderful purple that I embossed. See, you can see the little dots down here. And I just thought it added such a great texture. Now, I was going to go ahead and I had those two little pieces of paper. I don't know if you remember that. This was just a scrap that I had left over. And I didn't really want the green or the blue. So I just took the purple and I just went ahead and did a quick little cut. And this is all gonna be covered. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that. Let's get this going. If you hear noises, my dog was giving me a very pathetic look when I went to shut the door and I had mom guilt. So he is now in here but he was not being quiet. And we talked about that, we talked. But as with children, oh, that needs to go up just a hair. Sorry guys, just a hair. Oh, because you know, you can. everybody's gonna focus on that schmidgen of pink right up there, right? hate it when we get in our heads. Okay, so this is my Nana. I went ahead and I matted it in some green and some vellum. Put that on. Woo! I think that's going to go here, but I don't want to quite adhere it down yet because this is, I did do vellum, but I didn't have a big enough piece and I just kind of pieced it together and you can't even tell. 
But I have to tell you, I did a thing. I made a shaker. <laughs> I'm kind of excited at first. You need skills to do this. And I didn't know that I had the skills, to be perfectly honest. But Joanne, she has been challenging me. And so what I did is I purchased a little bit of, what do you call this stuff? This netting tool. There we go. It Joanne's they had for like a, a dollar forty-seven, I think. And um, I went ahead and bought some of that. And I don't have very many sequins actually. And I had this little bit here. I'm not quite sure. Oh, it's pink fresh. How? How about that? No wonder it goes so well, right? And then I just fussy cut some of these little florals and the leaves, and I put them in there and. I thought it turned out pretty cute. I'm excited that I did it, um, but you definitely need to have some skills because it took me a while. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. It took me a while, but I'm really happy that I just continued on and I that I did it. Okay, I hope this is where I wanted to put this. It makes me a little nervous now, so. So there's that. I made myself a little journaling box Let's go ahead and put the rest of this all down too. And then, but it was a lot of fun and I can't wait to do another. I think it's just one of those things you have to kind of practice at, you know. So this was just a piece of cardstock and I put some lines on it for some journaling bits. Now, because it's Pink Fresh Friday, I do not have any alphas from Pink Fresh that I know that I have. So, and what I mean by that, I have to pull this closer, guys. And what I mean by that is um, some of my alphas are not in containers anymore. And I don't want to not be Pink Fresh. So I am choosing not to have anything on this one. So there will be no lettering or no title. But that's okay because this is just going to be a little companion page um, for my Nana. Sorry, I got my big fat hands in there. And I will push this up here in a minute. I just needed to make sure that I got that on there. Okay. Okay, so then I have these little bits and pieces. So this was all from a scrap room kit. And I'm just gonna go ahead and try to utilize all of this. I had this little favorites and I went ahead and barely inked it, but I thought, when am I gonna use it? So I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on there. And since it came in the room, came with the kit and the scrap room kits you guys they're fabulous seriously they are you don't need anything except for glue now hopefully I didn't put that down too soon with all the rest of this and then and I think part of the the other thing with that was that I couldn't leave it alone. And that's another key. Leave it alone once you do it. <laughs> you need to leave it alone, Donna. But I kept shaking it to see what it looked like. And yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. One of those things. So I think I'm going to bring that down to about there. So I just want to pop this up. And then, oh, you guys, read the fine print of what you're getting. I really wanted some of that thin stripped foam to do like a shaker pocket. And I saw one eighth, threw it in my cart, and it's one eighth thick. So just kind of letting you know, guys. Yeah, I don't always read before I jump in but that's okay it's okay so I got the thrill of trying to put this cut this stuff up and um, the stuff from the scrap room it's super super sticky 
and it will not come off your scissors. So yeah, I mean, seriously, this was a project. I bet you it probably took me half an hour, 45 minutes, which is terrible. Okay, now I'm gonna just tuck some of these pieces in. Let me get this. Now, because this is all kind of blending, I am gonna ink these real quick. Real quick, quick, quick. Do you guys keep all your little pieces like this? I'm so curious. I don't know that I'm gonna keep them, but the thing is, is I do have another collection that I can put that in, and that would make some really, really cute tabs or tags. So I'm not sure what I will do. Don't know. But I'm gonna just kind of pop these in here a little bit. But because it all kind of is similar colors, I wanted to just make it pop a little. And then I just put a couple of those gold sequins in there. I thought it was just kind of a nice touch. And so just to bring some of that yellow in, just a hair bit. Just gonna kind of tuck that in there. I'm gonna probably pop, oop, I don't wanna put that one on there. Okay, just a minute. Now I have to switch those around. Whoops, sorry. Kind of fell off the edge there. Okay, let me put that on some foam tape as well. I'm glad I'm kind of using this up. I had quite the little mess, you guys, let me tell you. Quite the little mess. Well, I don't know if I like that blue there or not. I might just go with the green. But it kind of looks just blah, doesn't it? And I don't have another green floral unless I bring some of that else in there. Oh, oh, that's what I was gonna do. Okay, never mind. Let me just keep going here. Just keep going, Donna. And then I was gonna add this over here. So, and then I wanted to pop this up as well. Sometimes you get to look in at your layout and you're like, I don't know. And then you're like, oh yeah, you gotta finish it. And then when you finish it, then you like it. You like it a little bit more. It's just fun, fun to work with these products. And um, I'm so happy that I started playing more with these. I really, really like the Pink Fresh. The floral die cuts, oh, you guys, they're gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, let's get this cleaned up here. And I think I had this piece over here as well. I'm not 100% sure, but, so I'm not gonna bore you guys with adhering all of that down. This is pretty much what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna go ahead and get all this adhered down, and that way I don't have my head, and I'm gonna probably add some gems in. I'll probably do, some of these, and of course, probably these. And I might even bring in a little bit of yellow. I think that would be really pretty as well. So I will show you the finished layout. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I cannot even express how grateful I am that you guys are here joining me. And I wanna thank you guys so much for the thumbs up, the comments, and the subscriptions. You guys are the best. And I hope you guys have a super amazing day, and we'll talk to you really soon. Bye-bye.